In this video, I'm going to reveal a simple five-step process that you could implement today to make 3K per month with mental health and school. This is a process that has been done over and over again. I'm going to show you a few examples of people that are currently doing it, and we're going to walk through how you can do it too. Now, again, this is a simple five-step process that anybody can implement. The hardest part is literally just getting started. And if you want help getting started, go ahead and click the first link in the description, it will lead to a two week free trial to test out school. If you use my link and get started, my affiliate link, I will actually work with you one on one personally to help you launch your first school community. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the simple five step process. Now, I just want to show you real quick. There are tons of people in the mental health space that are having success with the school community. A number of these we're going to talk about and how you can do it too. So you can see here, this one, for example, $9 per month, 1.1 thousand members. They are making a pretty good living simply talking about different aspects of mental health. And this is something that anybody can do. You don't have to be special. You don't have to be a genius. You just have to implement these five steps. Let's go ahead and get right into them so you can see exactly what to do. Step number one is to pick a niche and niche down. One of the biggest mistakes people make when they get into making money online or marketing or whatever you want to call it is they try and be too broad and they try and talk to too many different people. What I encourage you to do is to pick one niche, so an area of focus, and talk only to those people. For example, exam anxiety, depression, stress management, anger management, substance abuse. These are all special niches that you can get into and there are hundreds of thousands of people that you can help. One of the biggest mistakes, as I mentioned, is some people will try and help people with self-esteem and they're trying to help people with substance abuse. These are two completely different people or groups of people and if you try and help everyone, you're gonna help no one. So what I recommend that you do is pick a niche, for example, you can focus on men's mental health or men's mind mindfulness and meditation and you'll be able to go much further because men and women, believe it or not, have different needs and you can talk to them di differently. And so step one, simply pick a niche and niche down. Step two is think about how you're going to get attention. Figure out how you're going to get attention. The only way you can make money on the internet is getting attention and there's two types of attention there's free attention and the great news the great thing with free attention is that you don't pay a dime for it what you do pay is in time and so basically what you're going to do is you are going to create content in one of these locations to get attention all of these locations work each one of these locations get billions of views every single month and you just have to pick one uh, like I said, the only drawback benefit is that you're going to be spending time and it can take longer to start building a following. And then we have paid attention. The great thing with paid attention is you can jump to the front of the line. Uh, the only drawback to paid attention is obviously you've got to pay for it and you might spend a bunch of money up front testing different things until you can break even and eventually start making money. Each one of these methods work. You can focus only on free organic YouTube and be wildly profitable. You could focus only on paid Pinterest and make lots of money. So what I recommend that you do in the very beginning is pick one and move forward so that you can move on to the next step. But very, very important. A lot of people make the mistake of trying to uh, do two different things at one time. If you're just getting started with creating content and you don't have a following, pick one. Just pick one and move forward. After attention, you are simply going to create content. Now, content is how you're actually going to get in front of people. And there are different types of content. And the different types of content will vary based on the platform that you choose. For example, search engine optimized content for YouTube, Pinterest works out very well because it's search engine. For example, if I go over to YouTube and, whoops, if I go over to YouTube, you can see that people are going to be typing in questions related to whatever their niche is. For example, people are going to be typing in like how to overcome depression. That's a very big question that people are asking, so much so that they're asking a more detailed version. How to overcome depression and overthinking, how to overcome depression without medication. Okay. And so if you're going to create content here, you can see there are lots of views. There are lots of people creating content to help out with that. But if you are going to create content on TikTok, for example, you are going to either use results, so proof, social proof from your clients, 
You're also going to do uh, personal branding. You're also going to talk about symptoms that people are going through. So what I would do if you were uh, talking about depression, look up the different symptoms people have and talk to those symptoms. Hey, do you feel tired all the time and you don't know why? Do you feel tired and you just woke up from a 10 hour restful sleep? And then you're going to say, if you feel this, then this might be the result. And you're also gonna offer some education and help people uh, solve it. So if you are doing social media and it's a newer platform, you can provide results, personal branding slash symptoms and education. These will work best. Uh, education also works best on YouTube. It's kind of um, SEO. After you have decided to, where you're going to create content and the best type of content to create, the next step is the funnel. This is probably the most important step. And this is the step a lot of people get wrong. What people often do is they will do a really good job of getting attention and creating content, but they don't funnel people in a certain direction and they don't make enough money. They don't make as much money as they could. What I encourage you to do is funnel people in one direction and these are your different options. You're going to create content, paid content, so like Facebook ads, and then send them directly to a paid school community. You can do this, this works out very well. And actually school is configured to run Facebook ads to a paid community. Uh, they recently added that feature, so it works out very well. You can create content, whether it's free or paid, and send people to a landing page for email marketing. What you'll do here is you will create a lead magnet, You'll have a one-page website that says how to do X and Y without Z, how to cure depression in 30 days without spending money on medication, for example. And what's going to happen is, is people are going to say, yeah, I want my depression cured within 30 days. They're going to enter in their name and their email. You're going to email them the lead magnet, and then you're going to follow up, and all of the follow-up is going to be talking about results, how you've helped people, and then you're going to send people over to your school community, which works out very, very well. Also, too, in the first email, you can send them to a free school community. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. Um, speaking of that, you can create content and then see, send people to a free school community and then upgrade people to a paid school community. This actually works out very, very well. However, each school community is $99 per month. So if you have a free community that you are upgrading people to a paid community, you're going to pay 99 times two. Very important to re remember that and calculate that in fact uh, that in when you're running these different school communities. The next option is content to a paid community. So you could run like TikTok, free organic content, and then in the description or in your bio, it could link to a paid community. You can also do content, whether free or paid, to a Facebook group and then upgrade people to a school community. Uh, that's a way to get around having to pay uh, for two communities, uh, especially one that is free. Okay, so now you might be asking, how do I actually make money from the school community? We talked about picking a niche, niching down content, attention, uh, and funnel, but how do I actually make money? And this is a really, really good question. Now, there's a few different options. We can do a monthly membership where we offer high ticket or low ticket. You see here, uh, $37 per month. Uh, five dollars per month. These are considered low ticket. Uh, thirty-seven might be kind of like mid to high ticket, depending on how big of the problem that you're solving. Now you can charge. Look at this one: ninety-nine dollars per month. Um, a fight against the world mental health pandemic. He's charging what I would consider high ticket, reoccurring monthly, um, for his membership. Now what you've got to understand is the bigger the problem you solve, the more money you can charge. If you're Small, if you're solving a small problem, you're going to charge a little bit. If you're charging a, if you're solving a big problem, you can charge a lot more. Another option is you can offer a private community off of a product or service that you offer. So maybe you are offering, um, you sell like an ebook on mental health, and included with that ebook, you could offer them a private community. Uh, you could use that private community to upsell people into a higher ticket thing, or if you have a high ticket community. Uh, high ticket program or group coaching, you can offer that private community as well. Something that's kind of new is you can actually sell individual courses within your community. So you could have a free school community and then have a la carte courses that they could buy, which is really cool. Um, and then you've got other opportunities like offering workshops, webinars, uh, both things that I've done. You can use 
your free school community to get course ideas and then turn around and sell those course ideas to the people that are in your community. You can get feedback on the current products or services that you offer, and then you can use it to grab testimonials. testimonials. Um, it's one thing for you to tell people how great you are. It's completely different if other people are saying it for you. And so if you can collect testimonials within your school community, it will actually help you make much more money. Now, as I mentioned in the very beginning, if you need assistance in building out your school community, I will help you with one-on-one -on -one coaching for free for one hour if you use my affiliate link with the two-week free trial. Again, this is something that you can do. 3K per month in mental health with school is something that you or anybody else can do. You just need to get started. The hardest part is that first step. It all gets easier for there. from there. Uh, go ahead and watch this video next because YouTube says it will help you grow your online business.